a critical college entrance test is about to undergo a very controversial change. Of course, we're talking about the SAT, the college board adding something called an adversity score. It will be a number between one and 100 calculated by using 15 factors. Those factors include family income, relative quality of the student's high school, plus the crime rate and the poverty level in their neighborhood. The score will only be reported to college officials as part of the overall testing result. Our Paula Tutman is talking to local schools about the impact right here in Metro Detroit. The juniors in the Wayne Westland Community Schools District took their SAT tests about two weeks ago, and everyone I asked said it was tough, really tough. It was okay. I mean, I, we were, we were kind of prepared for it. For Caitlin, the heavy load of studying, performing, and succeeding is particularly difficult. She doesn't have the luxury to just think about school. She also carries a heavy emotional load. I live with my aunt. You live with your aunt? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have contact with your parents? Um, my mom, I don't know my dad. Okay. Does that affect you at all? Yeah. This is not a child focused on school, not because of her brain, but because of her heart and her life situation. The canary in the mine shaft is free and reduced breakfast and lunch. That's a pretty good bio indicator of distractions to learning. And in this district, 100% of the students are eligible for free and reduced breakfast and lunch. It also ranks 533rd out of 640 Michigan school districts, according to School Digger, which ranks school districts based on test scores supplied by the State Board of Education. Superintendent Dr. Shelley Holt says, just because her kids may not perform well on tests, doesn't mean they are not smart and not college worthy. The adverse experiences can take their toll on a community and we need something that will level the playing field as our students take a step in the next direction. In the Rochester Community Schools District, less than 13% of the student population is eligible for free and reduced lunch. This is a mostly well-to-do district and according to School Digger ranks 32nd out of 640 school districts in the state. I think it's premature for me to comment on exactly what it is because I don't know how they've calculated it. Dr. Robert Shainer is the superintendent. I think um, our children all have great potential and, and great opportunity ahead of them. I do think that their background and what they experience, whether it's social, emotional, whether it's a, a poor home environment, whether it's socioeconomics, whether it's the remnants of, of uh, discrimination that exists in our country, I think it, it does play a factor. But I also think it's incumbent upon us educators to make sure we make every effort to reach every child. So obviously those SAT scores mean money in terms of scholarships as well as access to the best schools where competition is really at a premium. Uh, Dr. Holt believes that the adversity scoring is really a move in the right direction to level the playing field, so to speak. Dr. Shaner's a, a little more, I, I would say, cautious about that because he's very cautious about penning students in and judging them on one single testing criteria as a means to access to higher education or even as an indicator for success. Sandra? All right. Thank you, Paula.